Okay, so here we are at the Monarch Lake Trailhead. Everything is looking good. Today we are going to be hiking to the campgrounds at Crater Lake, 7.3 miles. So uh, on the map, it's right there. And that's the way. And down. And right there is Crater Lake. And then if I'm lucky, I'll be summoning Lone Eagle Peak. to the wilder part of the wilderness. You guys aren't making faces back there. No. Here we are in the Indian Peaks wilderness where the rules change slightly. Leash dogs, camping requirements, that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna climb out a little bit, get into some waterfalls. We're somewhere around three miles, and we got a couple forks in the road. We're gonna stay with Cascade Creek. I am very much looking forward to seeing some big waterfalls. I think that's gonna be relatively soon. I cannot believe how many waterfalls there are. Waterfallathon. Wow, yeah. Now we're entering the adventure zone. And kind of the pain zone according to Babykins. Guess that CrossFit didn't go quite as far as we thought.
magical crater lake. There's some awesome waterfalls over there we're going to explore. And obviously, Lone Eagle Peak is on the menu. So we're heading off to uh, explore the area and hopefully climb Lone Eagle Peak. So we're saying goodbye to the cute little campsite and hello to the beautiful lake. Wow. So Lone Eagle Peak is right up there. And uh, there is a great trail that's well cared. You definitely want to stay right along the base of the cliffs of Lone Eagle Peak on its east side. It makes it much easier than going through the Talus, which is what we did. Lost a bunch of time doing that with my girls, slowly. And you'll know you're in the right place because you'll look down and it'll be your first look at that uh, Lake Triangle Lake there. So that is the story, but the trail will come up over here and to the west of the big rock outcropping there. And I cannot say just how beautiful it is. Okay, so this trail has turned out to be very easy to follow. Lots of cairns worn in wherever there's dirt. So that is great point of reference is definitely a triangle lake down there um, you can see the big rock outcropping that we skirted on the right pretty high right up against the base of the cliffs on the east side of Lone Eagle Peak um, so this has been actually getting friendlier the trail is well cairned and uh, I have totally made the turn so I am heading back basically to the north toward the summit proper and I think I've got at least three quarters of the vertical done I don't know that but that's what I think um yeah and as you can see this trail is beautiful way up here so if you're trying to get to the summit and you don't feel like you're on a decent trail either it's winter or you are not going the right way Okay, so we've made our way up toward the summit proper. And uh, you could probably see that cairn there as well as this cairn here. Um, it is important to keep your eyes out. I was completely expecting to continue toward the summit that way. Um, but luckily I've been staying alert. And there's quite a large cairn on the horizon there straight above me. So I am going to heed that and uh, it's going to be a little tricky. So one thing about this route is the summit is actually below a lot of the uh, last bit of approach. So you are tempted to get a little too high sometimes. Okay, well, this guy is definitely living up to his name. That's for sure. He is beautiful. I could see his prints going all the way up. Boy, he is a good looking guy. I'll definitely say that. All right, buddy, let's do some climbing. 
he just ran away. But anyway, I did drop down onto the west side of the ridge on this faint trail here. And, uh, and then it looks like I'm gonna climb up onto the ridge proper again, because there's no trail down there. Just mountain goats. All right, so my little stint on the west side was short. I've already crossed back over, right over there through that notch with the funky choke stone in it. You can crawl under it or climb over it. I climbed over it. Um, and now it is getting a little more exposed and adventurous. For sure, there's the summit proper there. But boy, this trail is plenty worn in. So I am finding this really easy to follow. Not too worried, I can see it down to the right over there. So, uh, awesome. Definitely liking this, this adventure. Um, so, signing off. Okay, so I definitely got too high here. Um, I am on the ridge proper and it is insane uh really exposed for sure um yeah i definitely feel nervous but uh i can see a little warning trail down lower so i'm gonna head on over there because this is just wild and uh there's crater lake down there there's looking back. Oh boy. Gnarly. My goodness. So I was way too high for sure. Um, definitely had to do some kind of hairy down climbs as well. Um, but uh, I'm on a light system quite a bit below the, the funky choke stone. I'll mark that in the video. You want to get down for sure and preferably not climbing where i did um i think no matter what though it, it's that's the class four of thrilling excitement it's looking much better now now i'm just flying across this big fat ledge it's like a big old nice highway and i feel much better Boy, when I peeked over that summit ridge, that was crazy. Yeah, so I'm sure I scamper right up there and I'm imagining the summit is very close. So I've been moving quickly since the down climb. After some convoluted, gnarly adventuring, we have arrived at, I think, a actually useful summit, summit ridge. Yeah, for me, it was definitely lower than I thought traversing. And then it was still, still had some class four, but not nearly as scary as where it was. Ooh, summit register right there. And uh, some cool peaks back there. Beautiful waterfalls and Crater Lake. I'm gonna go sneak over to the very top.
it is critical to stay low, below the summit until you're pretty far out there. That knife edge ridge is super scary. By far the easiest approach to the peak is right along the east face of the mountain as pictured in this clip. This easy to follow trail will continue around to the north face of Lone Eagle Peak and then descend directly down to Crater Lake. Staying above the Taos will save you lots of time and energy. Finding the approach trail right at Crater Lake will greatly improve your speed and efficiency in summiting the mountain. All eyes on you. No sun hole. <laughs> oh my god! It's way colder than yesterday. Oh! Woo! <laughs> oh wow, he really went for it. I did it! <laughs> oh. After a quick bath and an early dinner, we found we still had energy for one more awesome adventure. The giant waterfall across the lake. Oh, sweet! Look at this! Oh, look at that. Golden Eagles. Do you see the Golden Eagles? Awesome. Wow. Oh, he's diving. See him dive? Wow. Woohoo! He's going to do another one. Oh man. What a magical spot.
please be aware there are many locations within the Indian Peaks Wilderness where a previously purchased camping permit is required. All of the three locations we visited, Cascade Creek, Crater Lake, as well as Lone Eagle Peak, were just spectacular. I feel very lucky to have had this experience and highly recommend it.